Blind super hearing. Do all blind people have it? Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming on my channel, Your Canadian Blind Girl. Stay tuned to see what I have for you today. Okay, so this is actually kind of funny because people automatically assume that when you're blind, your other senses become amazing. No, you have to develop them. Now I can, in a store, if I got lost in a store and I completely lost where I was, I could use my sense of smell, my sense of hearing, and my sense of touch to figure out where I am in the store. And so I have developed incredible hearing, but it's not because I went blind. You could do this without being blind. Um, it's because I was trained to learn to listen. And that is really, really hard. So um, I had an amazing orientation mobility instructor, Nancy. I, I wish we were still working together, even though I probably don't need it right now, but <laughs> you were awesome. She just was amazing. And I'm so glad she was my first orientation mobility instructor. And she really taught me how to listen. She taught me how to listen to wind coming off or off the side of buildings to figure out how far away a building is. She helped me learn to listen so I could cross traffic safely. She helped me learn to listen just to, to different cues. And so when I'm walking, I can learn to listen for all kinds of things. And that really helps me figure out where I am, what I'm doing, things like that. And so because I'm constantly learning to listen, and some people don't. I have met some blind people who they don't, they've never learned to listen. And so I can sit in a room, we both can sit in the exact same room with the exact same sounds, and I will hear, hear more than they do. I've also met other people whose hearing, as unbelievable as mine can be, they hear even more, and that's amazing. But no, we don't have super senses as soon as we go blind. Um, you, can, you can learn to do this right now. And I always encourage people, I sometimes I am engaged in conversation with people who are starting to learn, lose their sight and they'll say to me, what is something, you know, what is something that I can do? Like, and I'll say to them, okay, I go, the best thing you can do is sit somewhere, find different locations in your house to sit and notice how those rooms sound. Notice how they sound when you talk. Notice how they sound when music is playing. Notice how they sound from outside sounds. So for instance, in this room, you're always going to hear some kind of traffic because we live on a corner property and Main Street is only one block down from our house. And so you are always going to hear some kind of traffic. Whereas in a different room, you're not going to hear that because of the location it is on our property. And so learning to listen and developing listening skills you can develop super hearing, but so can anybody. You don't have to be blind for that. So this myth, <laughs> there's like this myth because that's the first thing people say. They're like, oh, do you have super hearing? Well, I do, but blind people as a rule don't generally get that overnight. <laughs> you know what I mean? They have to learn to listen to it. And so, um, and that's like anything with sense of touch, uh, sense of smell. Like I said, if I was in a grocery store, I can usually figure out the aisle I'm in from the smell. So glass to me has a smell. Uh, not everyone can smell glass, but I can smell glass. I can smell glass and tin. Um, I can smell the cardboard boxes. I can sometimes smell what's in a glass object or in a tin object, believe it or not. I know that sounds really weird. Um, and that's actually something I've had before I went blind. So again, I don't think that one's blind related either. Um, in our old house, I could be upstairs in my room, and if someone, I am like a mouse. I love different kinds of cheeses. And I was in my room, and my one of my parents was in the kitchen cutting up cheese, and in my room I'm like, I smell cheese! And I came downstairs and they were smelling cheese. And that's phenomenal because the people who were in the room that was closest to there couldn't even smell that they were cutting cheese. So again, and yes, they were cutting actual cheese for my brothers who are listening. Do not crack a joke in the comments, okay brothers? Um, but anyways, they, um, that's something, again, I don't think that was blind related because I had that sensitivity before. And I do use my sense of smell a lot more now, like I focus on it more because I'll be out and, you know, some people, they have a smell, their skin smells. And it's not necessarily B.O., it's their skin has a certain smell. And so, um, I know sometimes when I was in the Philippines, my fiance, and I hate it when people try to do this to me, but he did do it. He tried to like sneak up. He didn't scare me, and I'm so glad he didn't. He didn't scare me. He just wanted to sneak up to see if I could tell that he was there, and I could because his skin, 
um, has its own smell and I learned very quickly when it's people that I like and love I learned very quickly uh, what their footsteps sound like and what their skin smells like and so anyways I could tell that he was there and um, yeah so and also too I can sense body heat so for those of you that wave your hands in my face I can tell you're waving your hands in my face because there's wind that comes from your hands if you're really really quiet and you do that you will hear now you have to focus you can hear the wind so you can feel the wind hear the wind and I can sense your body heat so I'm like a lizard <laughs> I'm so weird, I should not have a YouTube channel. Anyways, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like my video because every time you subscri subscribe, you are helping to raise awareness about blindness and to stop the stigma against sight loss and you don't know how much you are impacting subscribing and making this channel more notice noticeable. So thank you so much and thank you for watching. Bye!